guest, a beautiful young actress who got her start on Baywatch Nights, now stars on, oh, and the best show on television, NBC's uh, Emmy-winning uh, drama, Law & Order. I never miss this show. It's a great show. Please welcome Angie Harmon. You bought an assortment. <laughs> I brought them as my good luck charm. Are you nervous? Yes, thank you. Are yeah. you nervous? You do what? You eat chocolate? Yes. Well, you couldn't you be like very nervous. Do you want one now? Yes. Would you, would please. you like one? Okay. That'll be great. What, what's okay. better than feeding girls chocolate? <laughs> mm, let me see. What do we have? Oh, it's seen. It has a little menu and yeah, everything. I'll have like, this have, one. Have that one. Have the yes. square one. Would okay. you like one? No, no. Yeah, Jesse, okay. would you like one? <laughs> Were you ever into wrestling? Um, you know, actually, uh, when I was 10. We um we followed uh, the Von Erichs. Oh, and okay. From yeah. Dallas, Texas. Exactly. Yeah, sure. And then I'm yeah. from sure. Dallas. So, sure. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we we were ten years old. We went to see a wrestling match, and we afterwards snuck down and and well, this is kind of gross. We got their hair and because they had pulled out all their hair on the thing, and so we took their hair and wrapped it in the Kleenex and ran off with it and thought, you know, you still we, we just that's what happened. Did well, you? Yeah. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> Oh, God, have a, you can have a bite Thank of chocolate, a little bite of a little girl bite. Now, when you're home, do you do this? No. Do you use the thumb? I know, because you like nibbling. Do you, no. Uh, uh, to push no. It back? I just, I went through a whole box yesterday, so, you know. Really? Now, everyone at home is, like, hating you now. You went through a whole, look, I'm sure you went through a whole box of chocolate. Well, it's like three-fourths, yeah. Now, do you, do you sit in bed with, like, a, a, a gallon of haagen and eat it with a, a, a ladle? A pint. Do you want to know? Yeah. <laughs> you sit there, just sit there. You know? in front, yeah, just pop in a movie, just a whole pint of ice cream. Well, that's very good. Well, at least mm -hmm. you're on it. Now, you play the assistant DA. This really is the best show on television. I, I, I never Thank miss you. this show. You guys do a great job, and, and your character is great. It's sort of this hard-hitting, because usually when they do these shows, the female character is sort of the, oh, the nice, let's not right. fry the guy. You, know, you always want to <laughs> nail anymore. the... Oh, no, no, that's great. Have you ever been in trouble with the law? Uh, um, More um, chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um... Yes. Yes, you have. Yeah. Been. All right. Yes. That's very honest. But I, it was, I was in high school. You're in high school, which yes. makes it worse. Okay. No. What, uh, <laughs> no. No. What did you do? Uh, well, um, okay. I, all right. I was, uh, you know, every high school has cheerleaders and, and drill team, and I was on the drill team, right. and and uh, we had just come home from our, our last game, and, and we had lost it, and it was very sad, and I uh, I was taking a girlfriend of mine home. And I couldn't find my keys, so I sat down uh, on the curb to find my keys in my purse. Right. And I had actually sat in uh, an ant pile that were fire ants. You sat on some fire ants? Yeah. And, they, and the fire ants, actually, they don't bite you immediately. They get all over you right. and then let out some kind of alarm and then bite you. Oh. And they all bite you at the same time. And so I, this, my girlfriend just sees me jump up and start screaming and ripping off my clothes. And, you know, I tear off my uniform and... This is a great story. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah. And, um... I'm going to eat chocolate now. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. And what happened and then? So, so, I, you know, I... <laughs> I so, I, I... Now you're naked on the side. No. I, no. I, you know, I had a, a bra and a panty. Okay. Um, and I throw on a t-shirt and we get in the car and she's looking at me like, you lunatic. Right. And I drive her home, and as I'm driving back to my house, I get pulled over. And the, the cop says that I, you know, rolled through a stop sign, which is fine, okay, whatever. And he says, well, you know, do you have your license on you? And I say, yes, of course. And I start to look for it, and I realize that it's in the trunk, meaning I have to get out of the car mm -hmm. to get it. <laughs> and um, this becomes a problem because... You don't have any clothes? I, no, I have clothes. No pants. No pants? Yes. And so, you know, and he's sitting there with his flashlight, and... and I guess. You, all, <laughs> you know, and, and he And it was says, daytime. <laughs> <laughs> it was 12 o'clock in the afternoon, he had a flashlight. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, okay. And he go. says, he says, well, could you step out of the car, yeah. Miss Harmon? And I said, no. And, I, you know, I, I don't know if you've ever seen a, a policeman's face when they ask you to do something and you say no. I mean, it's one of the scariest things you know, I've ever seen. Especially when you don't have any pants on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's and worse to say no to the governor. <laughs> so then what? Okay, so now what? What happened then? So, so he has his flashlight, and I say, well, officer, um, no, I'm sorry, I'm not wearing any pants. And he has the flashlight, and he goes, what? 
oh, okay, <laughs> yes. And then he, you know, he says, I'll be over here. You do whatever you need to do. And so I, you know, had a pair of shorts out of my gym bag, and I threw it on, and I went back, and I found my driver's license. And very... Did he ask you why you had no pants? Well, yes, but then I told him that I was on the drill team, and I gave a brief synapse of what had just happened, mm -hmm. and he said, oh, well, my daughter was on the drill team, and so he didn't give me a ticket, and I oh. was able to go home. Well, well, so, so, well, so technically you weren't in trouble, but there's no permanent record. Well, no, but as I was in math class on a Tuesday of uh, the next week, you know how high schools have the job programs. Right, right. One of the kids in my class came up and he was like, hey, Harmon, I heard you got pulled over this weekend and you couldn't get out of the car because you didn't have any pants on. And I just went, how did you hear that? And apparently in the precinct they had made a chalkboard drawing of the car and a little, you know, that little thing they put above it that says, I'm sorry, officer, I can't get out of the car because I don't have any pants. <laughs> It's good to see the police handle these things maturely. <laughs> yeah, basically. And you were a model. I have a picture. This is you on the cover of... Oh, wow. 17. How old were you here? Um, Take a look. look how pretty. How old? I was 14 then, and it wow. was, I was 15 when it came out. 14? Wow, that's pretty good. Now, how did, now, how did that happen? Were you just picked out of... Did you win um, the contest or what? Well, it? yeah. They, they had a national contest, and, and my mother entered me in it, and... One thing led to another, and the next thing You showed up with no pants and won the contest. <laughs> no, no. And what did you win? Um, I won a car, actually. At 14? That I couldn't drive. That's the car! That was the car! Oh, that that was, was the car that I was in when I won! This whole story's starting to make sense now. Yes, I, there you go. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I'm in, in, your, in your suspect room on your show now. Okay, so that was the car you had that no pants car. on. That was the car. But you were driving without a license? No, I had my license. Oh, this was later. So no. you, you got the car before you had your license? Yes. Well, yes, I was 14, and you can't obviously drive until you're 16, so it just sat out there. It sat out in the street for yes. two years. Yes, <laughs> yes, well, that it did. Sense. <laughs> did you ever sneak a drive in the car? Did you ever take it out? <laughs> did you ever put pants on and go for a drive? Dad, turn your television off oh, well, now. Did you, yes, that, yes, did you did you do that? Yes. Ooh. Yes. Well, and my, you know, and my father was brilliant. He would, you know, strategically place leaves and rocks and things behind the wheels, you know, and and I would like pick one leaf up and put it over here, and then pick a rock up and then put it over here, and I would take a bigger rock and put it on top of that so they wouldn't blow away while I was gone. And did you ever get caught? Well, you see, at that point, I thought I was so clever with all the rocks and leaves and stuff. I forgot about, you know, you actually add mileage to you the car when, yeah. it, when it moves. The car's got 25,000 ah. miles sitting in the driveway. <laughs> well, that's great. Here, have another chocolate. Oh, thank you. You did a wonderful job. And, and boy, it really is. It's the best show on television. Thank Congratulations you. on thank your work you on that much. show. Thank, thank you, Angie. Be right back. We'll be right after this. Angie.